Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another quick Adobe Photoshop tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the content aware fill tool to basically remove an unwanted subject, object, whatever it may be in your photo. So now in this case, in this photo right here, I'm going to be trying to take out this entire utility pole here that you can see. And I'm just doing it just to use as an example. It could be anything, whether it was a person or whatever it is. And I want to show you how well this tool works. And before I get started real quick, guys, up in the upper left corner, I'm going to click on Photoshop and then I'm going to click on About. This is something that you need to keep in mind because you might have an old version of Photoshop. But if you have this version or newer, you should have this tool to use. So if you don't have it, it's more than likely because you do not have, you know, a newer version of Photoshop that has this tool in it. So as you can see, I'm running 20.0.4 as of April of 2019 when this video was made. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to the lasso tool and notice that I have my feather is zero. Now I'm going, like I said, I'm going to remove this utility pole. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit, go back to our lasso tool and you don't have to get extremely close, but it always helps if you actually lasso your object or subject or whatever, you know, relatively close, but make sure that you get whatever you want removed, make sure you get it selected, then you let go. And as you can see, we have it selected. Now from there, we're gonna to wanna to go up to edit, and then we're going to go down to content aware fill. It is not content aware scale, content aware fill. These are two different things. So make sure you do content aware fill. We're gonna click on it. And then this box is gonna pop up. Now let me explain to you guys what's going on with this. So basically, when this pops up, this green, it's looking to fill this spot in that you selected that you want out with samples of anything that's in green, right? So we know that we don't want it to fill in with any of, of, of the person here golfing, which in this case is me. So you can see the minus sign in the middle of the circle. So I'm gonna click and hold and I'm going to erase me because again, I don't want it to take any samples of me and try to fill in this area with any, you know, pictures or parts of me, so to speak. So we, we need the cloud to replace this part. We need the tree to replace this part and the grass to replace this part. So what we're going to do now that we're okay with it taking any of this stuff as a sample, we're gonna go down here to the bottom right and click okay. And I'm gonna click and watch how quickly it does this and how amazing, amazing this is for such a quick fix. Okay, now you can see that it's selected. So we're gonna go up to select, deselect. Look at that, guys. Is that not pretty dang amazing for how quick and effortless that was? We essentially lassoed what we don't want in there, and then we went to Edit, Content Aware Fill. It's grayed out now because we don't have anything lassoed, and then it did that. Now, if you look over here in your layers, you'll see that you have background copy in the background. Now, this background copy, if we hit the little I here, it will take it to where you know, you see it now, but this layer right here is the actual mask that's going over there. So now if we hide our background copy, you can see that's the part that's stamped over it to hide that. Now, if you want to flatten it, you can go to layer flatten, and now it's just a flattened JPEG without the utility pole in it. I realize that the uh, power lines are still there and you can go in and do your clone stamp or even content aware feel for it as well. But anyways, I don't want to get this video too long. I just wanted to make it real short, simple, and to the point. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I do know Photoshop really, really well. Just haven't had the time to, uh, you know, sit down and make a bunch of tutorial videos using it. But that is something that I'm definitely going to do upcoming in the future. So be watching for my Adobe Photoshop tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, if you, you know, use the Adobe Creative Suite, I have an Illustrator um, tutorial and I'm going to be expanding on it. And I have a lot of Adobe Premiere Pro. So the whole Adobe Creative Suite, if you guys are into that, be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the little bell icon on this channel as there will be a lot more Adobe Creative Suite type stuff upcoming in the future. As always, guys, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan.